Luis King Kong Ortiz and his team admit they turned down the offer to face Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua wanted to fight. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, and I'm back at y'all with another one. So Team Ortiz admits that they dropped the ball on the negotiation and the situation with Anthony Joshua to fill in for Jarrell Big Baby Miller, stating that it was the promoter who asked for more and was being greedy, point blank and period. He thought he could get more from Anthony Joshua and uh, Eddie Hearn and the team, and uh, turned out that wasn't the case. Uh, you know, they let an opportunity pass. Anthony Joshua was guaranteeing him five plus million dollars to take the fight to fill in for Jarrell Big Baby Miller. This just goes to show, and this is proof that Anthony Joshua wanted to fight with Luis Ortiz. Eddie Hearn was not lying. And uh, at the end of the day, we have to call a spade a spade. Right is right, wrong is wrong. We can't get into the business of just saying, well, Eddie Hearn, I don't believe him because of the Wilder situation. This ain't the Wilder negotiation. We're not talking about Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. We're talking about Anthony Joshua and Luis King Kong Ortiz. Yes, uh, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua dropped the ball on the uh, Deontay Wilder situation and negotiations. Absolutely. Yes, they did. But guess what? When you look at this situation, they did not drop the ball and we have to call a spade a spade. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. I've been saying that Luis Ortiz and his team uh, didn't want the fight. They dropped the ball. They didn't handle negotiations properly. They came out. They put a price tag on themselves. They said that they would fight for a bag of peanuts and a box of Cracker Jacks. And when it came to it, they tried to uh, milk the cow and that wasn't going to happen when you're dealing with uh, business, right? And still, Eddie Hearn proved to be true with what he stated that he offered Ortiz five plus million dollars. Ortiz team has come out and stated that, yes, he did offer them that. And not only did he offer him that, but he guaranteed all of it up front. So they were going to stay. They were going to stand to make over five million dollars to face uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. This is the same number that Jarrell Big Baby Miller was rumored to uh, have been re gonna receive, should he not fail the Vada testing. So then they wanted twice the amount. So what Eddie Hearn came out and stated that the team Ortiz wanted twice the amount was absolutely true, because his team came out and stated that they are the promoter. Their promoter tried to push and get twice the amount. They wanted twice the amount or more, whichever the number may be. They wanted more than what Jarrell Big Baby Miller was offered, point blank and period. And this is what Eddie Hearn stated, that they wanted more than what Jarrell Big Baby Miller was asking for. And so they came out and said they wasn't going to be lowballed in the negotiation. Well, how could you be lowballed in the negotiations if you said that you wanted what Jarrell Big Baby Miller was going to get and they offered you what Jarrell Big Baby Miller was going to get and then you said that that wasn't enough? So how could this possibly be Anthony Joshua's fault? It's not Anthony Joshua's fault that Jarrell Big Baby Miller failed the drug test and it's not Anthony Joshua's fault that Luis King Kong Ortiz wanted more than what they was offering Jarrell Big Baby Miller. After Ortiz, Team Ortiz had came out and stated that they would fight Anthony Joshua for the opportunity, a bag of peanuts, and a box of Cracker Jacks. So this falls on Luis King Kong Ortiz team and Ortiz himself doorstep. And I know they're saying that it's the promoter's fault, but Ortiz, just like we state with uh, uh, every other fighter, Javante Tank Davis, we blame uh, 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 him for not stepping up and uh, forcing Floyd Mayweather's hand, right? Uh, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, we forced, we, we fault him for not stepping up and forcing Bob Arum's hand, right? And in this case, we got to fault Luis Ortiz for not stepping up and, and, and taking control and forcing his promoter's hand in this situation. Otherwise, just like we look at and people say Terrence Crawford don't want to fight with Errol Spence and Javante Tank Davis don't want to fight with Vizel Lomachenko, you got to look and say Ortiz don't want to fight with Anthony Joshua point blank and period. He was offered the opportunity to fight for, to become unified heavyweight champion. 
and earn over $5 million. And he turned it down. As I stated in my videos, and you had people coming out saying they didn't believe he turned anything down. They didn't believe Eddie Hearn. You guys are gonna listen to me sometime. One day you're gonna listen to me. I told you guys, and I'll tell you again. I told you when this first came out that Ortiz and his team dropped the ball and they didn't want the fight and don't defend the situation because it's your favorite fighter, because the shoe is on the other foot and don't 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 ride with it, the situation because you just like to ride against Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn because we, you become just that that we complain about. The guys blindly defending Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn is the complaint, right? So if you're calling it down the middle, then you got to call the spade a spade and you got to say, listen, Eddie Hearn was not lying. And Anthony Joshua wanted to fight with Luis King Kong Ortiz, point blank and period. And Luis King Kong Ortiz and his team dropped the ball. And that's all I got for y'all. It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bud Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Luis King Kong Ortiz and his team come out and says they dropped the ball on the situation on negotiation with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua indeed wanted to fight, indeed sent them a contract, and their promoter thought that he could get more, and he dropped the ball, point blank and period. That's why the fight didn't happen. And they turned down the deal from Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. So Eddie Hearn was not lying. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the Umbrella. Much love.